I apologize if I'm asking questions others have asked. I'm splitting between three committees. Uh, Dr. Lauer, um, the All of Us Precision Medicine Initiative, collecting data from a million U.S. residents uh, for genetic diseases, it's my understanding that a lot of this research or a lot of the genetic testing is done in, in, in China. Similarly, I'm told that like 23andMe and others, I don't know if it's 23andMe particularly, but some of those that do direct consumer marketing, again, have their genetic testing done in China. And then universities are getting their genetic testing done either in China or by a company with Chinese links. And again, I apologize if someone else has asked this, but can you kind of give me a flavor of what we're doing to keep this incredibly sensitive data from being um, misused or even absorbed by those folks in China? So, Senator, about the specific programs, I'd have to follow up with you because I, I don't know the exact details of, of where the uh, genomic sequencing is uh, being done. Uh, we do have um, an extensive genomics uh, uh, sharing and, and a genomics uh, science policy, uh, which uh, has evolved um, over the decades and mo most recently was put out in 2015, where we try to balance exactly what uh, the tensions that you're that you're suggesting. Um, on the one hand, we want to enhance uh, scientific progress. On the other hand, we want to make sure that there are no there's no misuse of the data. The data is being used for exactly what it's supposed to be used for. Uh, that it's not being shared uh, inappropriately with others, um, and that uh, individuals, groups, uh, U.S. public uh, uh, trust are, uh, are are appropriately protected. Would you agree that if knowing that the NIH, uh, I gather the NIH is doing all of your genomic testing on site. So um, uh, again, I'll, I'd have to follow up with you on the details. Some genomic, some of the genomic testing is on site. Some of it is happening um, at specific um, sequencing centers um, around the United States um, that have expertise um, in doing this. It, I, I would say it's fair to say it's a mix. Um, but none of it is done abroad, I guess is the thrust of my question. Would you, would you also agree though, that if some of this is being done in China, say university, XYZ university, is having is outsourcing their genetic testing or if a direct to consumer entity is outsourcing their genetic testing to china that this could be problematic it it might be what we do is uh anytime that a significant part of nih funded research is occurring outside of the united states uh, we call that a foreign component and we go through a formal process um, to make sure that appropriate um, steps are being taken I guess what I'm asking, though, is not necessarily the results of the testing, but rather the testing itself. In this case, if you, as we both know, if you correlate genetic uh, material with others, it gives you a big leg up in terms of the future of medicine, uh, the future of understanding an individual's health status, in fact, their blood relative's health status. So I'm asking not so much the results of the testing, but rather the actual test itself. You know, my genetic code being deposited someplace which does not have protections of privacy that the U.S. takes for granted. Yes, I, I, I hear you, Senator. I think that's part of the reason why uh, we want to make sure, for example, that uh, all the data um, for, that we use as part of our genomic data sharing is, uh, is de-identified uh, because the protection of the individual is something that, it, that is of uh, key importance. Let me go back to my question. For some reason, I guess I'm not making it clear. Okay. Would it be problematic if universities, hospitals, et cetera, direct consumer marketers are having their testing done in China, are with an entity which shares information with the Chinese government? Well, it depends upon what we consider the risks to be. If we are particularly concerned about the risks to the individuals, to research participants, and that's why we have a variety of steps uh, in place uh, to protect them. One of the most important is, is uh, de-identifying their data. Uh, we don't see genetic data in and of itself as being a, a national security risk, but I, I would say that we work very closely um, with our uh, with experts and colleagues in other parts of government, including IG and, and ONS, um, to make sure that we are doing this as best as we as we can and doing it right. I've been told that there really there's no data that which cannot be re-identified. Uh, there may be a function such as a data lake, data data lake. But in terms of truly de-identifying a medical record or some aspect of a medical record, almost always it can be re-identified. Would, would you disagree with that? Uh, we are uh, watching this quite closely, and, and you are right um, that there um, have been instances where 
uh, it appears that uh, researchers have been inappropriately uh, re-identifying people. One of the key steps that we take whenever we share data uh, is uh, to discuss exactly what steps will be made um, to make sure that no attempt will be made to re-identify uh, re um, participants. So then that goes back to, I guess, my question, if we're concerned about foreign influence in our medical research, everybody you're describing is subject to the jurisdiction authority of potential for penalties from the NIH or the U.S. government. But if we're dealing with an entity overseas, which is not subject to that, does not fear that, et cetera, then if they have that same material, they could handle it differently with all the nefarious consequences that we fear. That would be correct. Yes, yeah, so this is the reason why uh, we don't just automatically process a data sharing request. Uh, all the data sharing requests that we get go through a very extensive vetting process and we, in fact, reject a fair number of them, um, in, including, re uh, including requests that are coming in from, from foreign entities, because we are worried about that. We are worried about misuse of the data. Uh, with that, I yield back, Madam Chair. Thank you.